to pop a up in YouTube. Rival game in here. <laughs> What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm actually going to be going over the new secret chest that can be found in the Vault of Glass. Except the way we are finding this chest in the Vault of Glass is from the mission Paradox on Venus. And it does seem like you have to be on the Heroic Modifier to get this to activate. I actually haven't tried this regularly, just in a regular mission. I actually used the Heroic Modifier my first time trying this, so I can't actually clarify that for sure. But then again, I'm pretty daggone sure you have to be on the Heroic Modifier. In this mission, it involves Praetith a lot. And you may know a Praetith from a few raid weapons, such as Praetith's Timepiece, and the Praetis Revenge Sniper. Anyways, besides that point, one of the coolest parts about finding the secret is you actually find Praetis' dead body in this mission. Which I think it's pretty awesome how the developers decide to tie in Praetis within the story. And not to mention you actually find Praetis' ghost out of this secret chest, which I thought was also pretty interesting because his ghost is actually not anywhere near his dead body. The dead body is actually near the final boss of this mission, and we're going to be needing to kill the final boss to do this glitch. Once you finally kill the boss, go check for Praetis' dead body, which is the route that I'm heading currently. It's actually in one of the rooms where a chest would spawn in the Vault of Glass raid. It's pretty cool, I have to admit. Okay, so anyways, here's how you do it from here. Once the boss is finally killed, have one person from the fire team leave. I know that sounds strange, but I'll get more to that later. So once that person leaves, make sure you are still able to communicate with them. And then for the next fire team member where they should be set up at, is you want to make sure they are actually next to Praetis' skeleton. But make sure that person that's standing there does not scan the body immediately, quite yet anyways. We're actually going to be glitch spawning into this secret area where the chest lies. I'm sure there is actually a regular way of getting this chest instead of using this route, but so far this is the only known way. Well, the only known way I know of so far in that case, and I'm deciding to share it with you all. This might actually be gotten regularly through the daily on this mission, not for sure yet. Anyways, the third fire team member should be across the gap, where there would normally be teleporting pillars to jump on to get to the other side. Remember, make sure one is still standing by Praetis' dead body waiting to scan it, and the other is waiting in orbit waiting to join back in your guys' game. Anyways, once the third fire team member finds their way across toward Atheon's room, my buddy actually used his Blade Dancer to get across, but I'm sure there's some other ways to get across as well. Once you do get across though, you will realize Atheon's door will be shut still. And the trick inside is this. It's simple, Guardian, so just try to listen closely. The third fire team member starts flying back in. While the third fire team member is in the loading screen where they are actually flying into Venus, the person by the body scans it, then kills their self, and the person by the door also kills their self. It doesn't have to be in no specific order, just make sure you both are dead while the third fire team member is flying back into your guys' mission. You will notice when you spawn up, you spawn in this secret area, and so does the person who flew in as well. Not quite sure why it exactly works this way, but hey. I'm not complaining. Like I said, it's basically a bug to get into this area. It's basically a glitch spawn to get into this secret area with this secret dialogue. So once again, I'm pretty sure it's going to be involving something with the daily, kind of like the black spindle. But then again, I could be wrong about that. Which anyways, now from here, I'm going to break from the commentary, have you guys enjoyed the gameplay of this place and the loot. By the way, you do get Grimoire out of opening the chest here and a cult ghost, which that is returned to the future war cult guy in the Tawa. But I'm out of here everyone, this has been your rifle, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and this does end up helping y'all out. I know once again this can be kind of confusing to get inside. As always though, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder before I go, if you guys could, to remember to support by leaving a like and or sharing the video. It's greatly appreciated everybody. My goal for likes with this video is to surpass a whopping number of 2,000 freaking likes. I never asked for so many likes on a video, I just want to see if you guys can make it possible for me. Once again, thanks everyone for your continued support, it's been amazing, can't thank you all enough for it. But like I said before, I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of the video, everyone, and remember, Guardians, to stay safe and don't sleep in pee. Peace out. Welcome to the end of the Vex, their immutable future.
will. They don't understand. A will long dead here. Dead. Eons ago. But then they won't end, will they? Because you're here.
another dead ghost. This is... Wait, I think this is Pradith's ghost. She's still got files in her core memory. They're marked with future war cult headers. I bet Lakshmi will want to see this. Thank <laughs> you.